to the Cinnabar. Now I know there are a lot of you out there who watch this channel who like to tinker on your old firearms. If it doesn't look quite right, if it's not functioning quite right, you like to get it fixed up, make it look good, make it function well. And I know this because on a near daily basis, and sometimes several times a day, people contact me wanting to know if I have this particular part for sale or that particular part for sale for a project they're working on. And if not, where do I find that part? Now, neither of those questions has an easy answer. Now, first off, we're not in the parts business. I don't have a big enough inventory that I can sell off parts to every inquiry that, that I get and still have enough parts left over for my own projects. So that leaves us with going out and trying to find these parts. So today we're going to talk a little bit about my process and the steps I take when I find myself in need of a particular part for a particular vintage firearm that I'm working on. Well, unfortunately, there's no one-stop shop. There's no one company that carries an inventory of every old part that we may need for every project on every old firearm there is. There isn't even a place where we could find every part for a particular brand of firearm. It's just not possible. So that leaves us searching for these parts. Now, my first preference when I'm looking for parts is good quality factory original used parts. And of course, I think most of us, when we think of used parts and sources for such, uh, we think about eBay. And of course, I've bought a lot of used parts off of eBay, but with varying degrees of success. I mean, I've bought some good parts at decent prices off of there that were very usable the way they were. I've bought some parts that ended up being unusable junk. And then if it's a hard to find part, you're competing with somebody else who may bid that part clear out of sight. And I've seen some, some parts go on eBay that, that people were competing against one another that just went for astronomical, stupid prices. Now, over the past couple of years, I've been getting excellent quality used parts from another source, a company called Old Arms of Idaho. Now, you might have noticed on our intro that they've become a new sponsor of this channel, but this isn't just about a sponsorship. These guys really do have an excellent inventory of good used parts, and they're very aggressive about going out and buying up uh, inventories of used parts. So that they're expanding and growing and filling a niche that's really needed by those of us who are trying to fix these old guns up. Now, Aaron and I went through on a tour just recently, and we were like two kids in a candy store. You know, it just, I kept losing Aaron. She, as we were touring the place, she'd see a, a, a bin full of Colt Lightning rifle parts, and I'd have to go back and, and usher her along and catch up with us. And then she'd see a, a pile of single action Army Colt parts, and I'd lose her again. There was this huge table of iron sights all, all, separated by manufacturer and I could have spent all day there pawing through all those iron sights. So they have a great inventory. They've got a lot of parts that they're going through. So if you don't see what you need right off, keep checking back because they may have them and you know, it just takes them a while. They've got guys that are there just all day sorting these parts, trying to identify the part and what, what it goes to, take pictures and, and describe them well. Um, you know, it's, it's a much safer way to buy used parts than say on eBay because they stand behind their product. And if there is a part that has a, a certain problem, you know, they describe that and, and photograph the problem and, they, and they'll discount it accordingly if you, if you need to fix that item. So really it's an a, a excellent resource and, and kind of my first place to go looking for used parts now uh, is, is this Old Arms of Idaho. Now they don't just sell uh, used parts. They do sell some old firearms. They sell some some accessories, um, accoutrements. They do, they do, they're heavily into the military surplus stuff. Um, so you know anything that that's related to vintage firearms, they're worth taking a look at that website. Now, in in uh, kicking off this sponsorship, we. We're running with them a special toward to the end of this year. And so if you if you find something you need there, put it in your shopping cart and, and go to checkout. There's a a place for a coupon code. And it'll get our viewers 15% off everything in, in the inventory. So that coupon code, and, and I'll put it at the bottom of the 
the screen and in the description. But that coupon code is pretty simple. It's Cinnabar2023. So, and not the Cinnabar, it's just Cinnabar2023. So through the end of this year, 15% off. Now that can run into some really good money if you're buying a lot of parts from them. So keep that in mind as you, as you look at that, uh, that website. They've got an excellent website. And if you don't find what you need, keep looking back. They've got a lot of stuff they're going through right now and it may be there, it just hasn't come up on their website yet. So keep an eye out on that website. Keep checking back and seeing if they got an inventory. And remember that coupon code Cinnabar2023. Now if I just absolutely can't find a good used original part for a project I'm working on, then it's time to start looking for reproduction parts. And of course, a quick internet search, you'll find some, some big suppliers of parts for the kind of guns that we work on. Uh, Numerich Arms Company, uh, Homestead Parts, um, Jack First Gun Parts, and a variety of other smaller suppliers out there that, that offer parts from various sources. And I've had a mixed bag of results there as well. Some of their parts are very good quality. Some are pretty low quality and some are just junk. You know, I've had springs that weren't configured properly that wouldn't even work. Springs that weren't heat treated properly that broke. Um, screw sets with some of the screws that had the wrong pitch. So when you try to screw them in, you're, you're cross threading. Um, you know, they, they source their, their products from manufacturers and some of, some of their manufacturers do a good job, some of them don't. So you get a mixed bag of results there for, with the quality of the parts that you might receive. So I'll give you the name, names of a few smaller suppliers that make what they sell rather than sourcing them from, from various manufacturers with various qualities. And the first one I want to tell you about is a fellow down in Arkansas by the name of Sam Simmons. Now Sam and I have been, become kind of friends, oh, even though over a long distance, uh, because I've been using him quite a little bit for some of these obsolete parts. And he started off mostly making screws, but now he, he's, he's started making a lot of parts for these obsolete guns that are, are very hard to come by. And we started off um, buying stuff from him for Colt Lightnings, and he makes a lot of lightning screws and parts that you can't find anywhere else. And, and now he's, he's really uh, expanded the parts that he's making. He's making a lot of Winchester parts now. He's making a lot some uh, Marlin parts, some Remington Hepburn parts, Peabody parts, Sharps parts. You know, a lot of these older firearms and, and parts that he's identified that you can't find anywhere else and now he's starting to reproduce them. Now, he sells on, on eBay and Gunbroker. He doesn't have his own website. So I think on, on eBay he goes by Hoxie Carmen and on gun broker he's rough cat but i'll give his his direct uh contact information in the description so you can contact him directly and not have to buy through uh these online sources he he uh actually has more more parts and stuff in inventory than than what he has on those sites at any one time so it's it's good to check with him um, to, to look for some of these obsolete parts for some of the the odd uh, older stuff now, if you're really a, a Winchester fan like I am, there's a fellow up in Maine that does a wonderful job and has, has extensive parts for Winchesters only. His name's Bob Knapp, and his website is winchesterbob.com. Now, Bob's just a one-man operation, and he's up around retirement age, so, um, you know, he's, he's not producing a whole bunch of parts these days, so if he has it in inventory, you're in luck. If he doesn't have it in inventory, you, you may be waiting a while or he may just not make that part. But uh, he has a, a lot of parts that you just can't find anywhere else. So give, give Winchester Bob or Bob Knapp a, a try up there. And then the other one is nearby here up in Washington State, uh, Wisners. Uh, they, they have kind of a limited supply of, of different parts. And last time I talked to them, they, they just had one machinist there making parts. But they do make the parts that they sell there. And they're a good, high-quality part. So if you can find what you're looking for there, I, I recommend them. Now the reality is that there are a lot of parts for these vintage firearms that aren't being reproduced. So our only option is good, original used parts. 
So like me, your first stop should be Old Arms of Idaho. And remember that coupon code, it could save you a ton. Cinnabar2023. Get these old firearms out. Get them fixed up. Get them shooting. That's what they were made for. You know, stuff like this 5110 1886 hasn't been shot in decades. We're going to get her fixed right up and shooting again. <laughs> she deserves it. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, maybe learned a little something that, that helps you out in your search for, for um, firearms parts. Until next time, happy trails from the Cinnabar.